Hi everyone, I am Jonathan J. Reinhardt from Wargaming Recon, or on the shirt. So I'm coming at you today with an unboxing, also a first look, box battle Kickstarter mat. So previously we've done an unboxing and I showed you here, they give an advanced look of the mat. So we have this here and a beautiful water on one side, it's a beachhead and it is Number two design, I believe, on the other. But today I came home and I got this package. And I was surprised because on it it says one cigar box battle, 60 inch by blah blah blah. And I looked really close and it's only one of the two mats. I, I backed their Kickstarter for two mats. So I don't know which one what's here. I'm sure the other one's on the way, but I'm honestly a little disappointed that both of them didn't come together. And because people are curious about packaging always. This is how they ship them. It's a nice cost-effective way. But as you can see, it has some rips in there. And we'll find out, and also down here, we'll find out if the package that the damage went through and actually did anything to the mats. I don't think it will because the mats are, I mean, they're pretty durable. So let's dive right in and see what we got. I can tell you that I actually backed uh, for two mats, as I said. One, as I am really looking well and lazy, myself, and one for Adrian to primarily use. Adrian, of course, is one of the co-hosts here at Wargaming Recon, so this was a Wargaming Recon backing of it. And Adrian was going to back himself, and he's like, why don't we just put them all together? Because it's for the show. I said, sure. Oh, thanks. You, Cigar Box, I know you guys are looking at this. Corey, Chris, I know you watch these videos, and I'm going to send you Sneaky Devils. Sneaky, and I said I'm disappointed because it says one of two. Two mats. What? So if you back this, because you backed it, and you think, oh, it's only one mat, you might actually have two, and I thought, this is huge, right? It shouldn't be that big for one mat, but let's go over here first, number two, because this is what I'm most excited about. Because I believe this is one of their new designs. So they unleashed some designs exclusive to the Kickstarter. And just to compare, first of all, for the Kickstarter, they put it in this classic, it feels and you're probably not going to care, but I use that to store this stuff. This one is softer. This is the one that they sent the preview copy, the review copy of. Uh, and this is the standard bags that I'm used to for the other ones. This one feels cheap. Actually, both of them feel the same way. And that's probably the only way they could do such high quantity because they had a lot of backers. That's fine. Honestly, I don't care. But if you're someone who wants to store them and you're like, oh, hey, look at this and the high quality, Matt's fine. Packaging, not so much. So let's open this up. We'll see what we got. So this, okay. So Adrian wanted Grassland Two, which you've seen before, because we've done it on the show before. It's one of the first ones that we ever got. And then Adrian wanted on the reverse side. He wanted the original Grassland, and this is a great one, older design. It actually blends perfectly, as I'll show you in a moment, with one of the ones that I had got before. Sorry for all the extraneous noise, it's just side effect of doing it. So, beachhead one. And I'll show you, because I'm gonna angle the camera down, but you'll be able to blend together so you can actually extend the coast. So we angle, Actually, I'll just take the camera. So if we angle down here, you can see down here, this is the beachhead. This is one I got. And we get the water and so forth. And then we, we angle back and it transitions into grassland. And it goes up here. The original grassland. So Adrian got this, and it's great because we can plop it with the beachhead mat. 
it's all kind of rumpled, but you get the idea. To do a really long table, so it can do D-Day, can do anything like that. And then he has, he loved the field of battle, but thought that we could use an extra one of them if we ever want to do a really big game. So, put you guys back there. So that is Adrian's. And then the other one is right here, and I was wrong. This is the one I'm really excited about, is I cut my head off. Sorry about that. I could edit that out, but I won't. We'll do one shot here. Open this. It's a little. Yeah. I don't love the packaging. That's okay. I should say, I think Matt, I just showed you the first one. I think that was one that was on the outside near the holes, and it looks fine. I couldn't tell any damage in the bags. So if you get your your mats right, they get delivered, and you see that there's like holes in the outer packaging. Don't worry, your mats are probably gonna be fine. Mine were. Yours probably will be too. If you have a problem though, contact Cigar Box Battle. They're fantastic. So then right here, I got a couple different designs, and they're actually new designs that were picked. Starters, I started to say. So on this side, is I should try to lift it up to show you something more interesting. This side is their new Europe. Number two. So I have Europe 2, which is on the other side of the beachhead. And they never told me they were doing this. So you can see here, and you can't see me. You should be able to see here the design. So this matches the field of battle. So you can use a field of battle, which is a new grassland. You can use it with Europe 2, the new Europe 2, which I love. I love Europe 2 because it's a nice mix. You have roads, you have fields as I drape myself in it. You have crop areas over here. So it's all nicely textured. And you get a nice mix of it. Nice variety size of road. So you get like a, a longer, um, thicker road. So it's like a main road here. And as you go towards the middle, right here you get like a little thinner one. So it could be a trail. It looks really good. You can see here how all the crops and stuff some nice junctions and then you can compare it to if i get the right side the original europe to ooh, which is right here so similar so this is the original europe too it looks nice you get trees and things on it but the new one uh, for, uh, sorry, New Europe, not Europe too, but New Europe is this other one I got. So that's why it's a little different. Um, things are blended in more trees and so forth. So it's a newer version of Europe, not Europe too. Uh, I stand corrected. I just double check my notes. So that means New Europe, not Europe too. So I have two versions. Then on the other side is another one. It'd be great for pirate gaming. It'd be great for like Blood and Plunder. It'd be great for Frostgrave, because Frostgrave's doing Lost Peninsula. It'd be great for Warhammer Fantasy. It would be great for Pulp or Historicals in South America or any sort of jungle. And it's the Lost Temple. So as I get deeper into the map, you should be able to see right in the middle of this, like cobblestones and things like that. And that gives you all, as I hit my roof, <laughs> I hit my ceiling, that gives you some nice play of like lost civilizations and things of that sort covered by the jungle floor. You obviously have this nice huge area. I mean, these mats are huge, but this nice huge area, so it's like a big area, so it could be like a, a town square or anything like that. Fantastic for pulp gaming or any of that sort of stuff. As I talked about with the pre preview, the review copy that they sent beforehand, there's no bleed through. You don't have to worry. Standard high quality on everything. New designs look fantastic here. And um, the ones on the other mat, of course, standard high quality right here as well. So you just, you get it all. It's beautifully done. And um, as I look, I was like, wait, why does the color look a little weird? Money or air, the way it was printed. It's okay. It it almost looks like a cut. It actually it does look like a cut. 
Okay, so maybe this is damage that I had from shipping. So we'll see. But that does look like a thing. And it's a straight line where seams should be. And the seams run weird. Well, anyway, mats are great. And as I was saying, they're not doing another double sided mat. So this was a great way to get two designs for a mat at an affordable price. So you can really just be like, what side do we need? Do we need this side? Oh, wait, no. We need this side. And you'll have to bring the one mat with you. Highly recommend it. So in love with Cigar Box Battle. You should be too. And as I said, when I first got one of these, I thought they'd be nice. You can just wrap yourself in them. If you're like out in your game and you're like, it's so cold. You're not using it on the table. You just wrap yourself in. No one's going to do this. But I think they're nice and soft. Be a, a Cigar Box Battle Jedi, as I would say to my two and a half year old. <laughs> she would rather funny. Your kids might too. So thank you very much for watching. I want to say the Cigar Box Battle mats were great. And as always, you know the drill. Keep on gaming.